hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl marina here and i'm glad that you could join me if it's your first time here my name is marina i make videos from saskatoon canada where i share about my experiences um, about life as a nigerian immigrant in canada so far so please do well to subscribe if you have not already done so and please um, click on the bell notification so that you get notified every time i make a new video and to my returning subscribers thank you guys so much for all the love and all the support um, i'm glad you're here again guys today's video is by far one of the most difficult i've had to make by the time you're seeing this video it will be november 24th and it would have been my mom's birthday last sunday made it exactly two years since my mom passed away and she would have been 58 today so she passed away one week before she turned 56 and guys i don't know how to explain this but it's hard it's hard some days i feel like i've made some progress i have healed a bit and then days like this just takes you steps back so i'm trying to figure out like what is actually the right way to grieve and i realized that there's no right way there's actually no right way to grieve. The right way to grieve is the way that works best for you. So I'm just going to be sharing with you guys today what the journey has been like for me dealing with grief and coping with um, life without my mom. Nobody, absolutely nobody is too old to enjoy the love of a parent, especially a mom. My father passed away when I was a teenager. The pain was very different. It was very different. Like as a teenager, yes, it really hurt to lose my father, but it wasn't, it's not the way this is now. I'm older, I'm, I mean, I'm more aware, right? There's been a whole lot. Um, she was sick for a while and then had started to get well, was in recovery mode and then suddenly she passed away while she was on vacation in a different country. I mentioned a bit about this in my last video where I talked about um, the role that my friends played and how they were there for us and just helped us hold on. But I am going to talk about this today more in depth just to share what the journey has been like, what the grieving process has been like. That process is still ongoing by the way. I'm my mother's first daughter. And as soon as I got news that she had passed away, the first set of calls that I get in the usual Niger fashion will say, oh no, you have to be strong for your siblings, you know you are now the mother. I know that that advice was from a good place. People mean well when they say things like that. But just hearing that over and over again, I would say took away from me the ability to grieve properly because i came to the point where i started to feel like oh i have to be there for everybody else i have to be strong for my siblings i have to step into some responsibility and i actually forgot that look in actual sense you are first a child who's going through the loss of a parent so that responsibility i think i carried on a little too quickly and it affected me in more ways than i can explain of course funeral arrangements went into full swing almost immediately so it was responsibility 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 and after the funeral after i came back from the funeral i thought okay i'm finally now going to have time to go through the grieving process other things happened that took that away from me as well so yeah it was just drama everywhere and the thing that was suffering was me i internalized the pain i pushed the grief to the back burner because i thought you know what i'll be fine i'm doing these other things to distract myself but here's the thing about grief guys it is a process that you cannot ignore it is a process that you cannot run away from you can't no matter how long it takes no matter how long you push it one day you're going to come to the point where you have to face the reality of the pain that you're dealing with and being and being nigerian and maybe maybe i don't know if it's a general african thing we don't really really um know how to deal with grief we don't know how to deal with pain you just assume that and um, I, I don't have to talk about these things i don't it will pass it will pass on its own and then you find other things to you to distract yourself and before you know years down the line you're you become a mess like i became i couldn't do that for long i couldn't ignore the pain for long and then last november when it was one year guys i think i suffered like a mini breakdown where it hit me all at once that look this has happened and you're going to have to find a way to deal with it i wasn't i think i got to the point where i was operating on 
maybe like autopilot no autopilot is even good more like zombie mode where i carried on i felt like i was numb i was not in touch with how i was feeling i couldn't explain some of the experiences that i had to deal with and i knew it they, i didn't need anybody to tell me that that's what was happening so on the first anniversary i crashed i broke down completely so the month of november and december i don't remember a lot of significant things that happened those two months because i wasn't myself guys and i had to get help i had to go to some kind of therapy to talk about it and talk through the process of my grief and that's how i've been able to manage it till now so talking helps that's exactly the reason why i'm making this video guys just to remind myself that i'm human it's okay to feel what i'm feeling how i feel is a natural it's a part of the natural um, grief process why am I really sharing all of this? I realize I'm not alone. Just like me, there are lots of other people who are dealing with one form of grief or the other and they haven't been able to come to terms with it. Especially if it's unexpected. Like if my mother died at one week to 56. She was young. Like for me, in my head, she had at least another 20 years. And my mother is a strong woman. She has always been a fighter. I was so confident that this was going to be one of those other battles that she fought and she won. We were so confident that, I mean, she had come out of it. How, who dies suddenly in recovery mode? So it was, that part was really hard for everybody to accept. My mother is a strong woman. Like when people say, oh, Marina, you're strong. I just laugh and ask them, have you met my mother? Like... That's where I come from. You think I'm dogged? It's my mother. It was unexpected, so it was very painful. It made that even more difficult to deal with. I know that there are people out there like me who are dealing with some form of grief or the other. I'm making this video because of you. I'm talking about these things just so you are reminded that you are not alone and it's okay for you to admit that you're hurt. Because nothing prepares anybody for the loss of a parent nothing prepares anybody to go through the grief to go through the hurt that comes with losing a loved one guys so that's why I'm doing this I pray that you find the strength I pray that you find the comfort I pray that you find the peace that you need to go through the process that being said please go through the process don't let anybody make you feel like you're taking too long to heal pace at which you heal is entirely up to you please go through the process come to terms with your pain if you have to talk about it to somebody please do like i said i had to go to therapy because at some point i couldn't hear anything nobody could get to me it seemed like everybody didn't understand but really they understood i was just the one that was so closed off because i didn't understand what i was dealing with it's okay to grieve at your own pace at your own time Please don't let anybody decide for you when you should stop hurting. Don't put it off. You never know when or how the grief is going to show up because trust me, it will. I hope you find the peace. I hope you find the strength. I hope you find the comfort and the support that you need to deal with the pain and go through the grieving process. To everyone out there who has a friend, who has a family, or if you know people who are dealing with one form of loss or the other, Please support them as much as you can. Resist the urge to tell them things like you are now the mother now or you are now the father now or be strong for everybody else, guys. Like I said, I know that talks like that or advice like that is from a good place but you're not really helping the person if you're asking them to put aside how they feel and be there for other people. So please, be there for them. Sometimes being there for them might just be sitting down beside them and allowing them cry. Don't tell people, no, it's okay, now stop crying, stop crying. No, if that's how they're going to heal, please let them go through the process. And for everyone else who still has their parents or you still have surviving parents, guys, this is the time that you want to really just build relationships. This is the time that you want to ask questions. I feel like I'd gotten to the point where I was now building a better relationship with my mother when she passed. That's why this is hard. So if you still have a parent or you still have your parents, this is the time where you want to build a relationship. Build, go the extra mile. If you have questions, while they are still here is the time where you can ask those questions. There are conversations that I wish I had with my mother. There are questions I wish I asked. There are times where I wish I just listened. There were things I feel she tried to tell me, but I was not very attentive to it. You who still has 
surviving parents you still have a chance you still have an opportunity to mend those relationships you still have an opportunity to improve that relationship so today is a good day to pick up your phone and call your parents today is a good day to hug them a little tighter because days will come where you just wish that you can shake their hands so while you still have them celebrate them while you still have them take care of them while you still have them spoil them if you still have your parents you still have an opportunity to make things right if they are not right if the things are already right with your parents of course it can be better so go the extra mile today for your parents give them one extra hug from me if you have to make peace please make the move now to make peace while you still have them guys because our parents are not going to be here forever they are not going to be here forever and i hope that we make the best of the relationships that we have while we still have them okay guys so that's all i'm going to be talking about today my videos are usually not this solemn it's just not a it's not a very easy day for me right now and talking about this is actually helping me deal with how i feel i've learned the hard way by keeping quiet and i realize that i do myself more harm than good when i keep quiet so i'm sharing this first to help myself help how i feel and just to encourage one other person out there that i mean you're not alone we can deal with this together thank you very much guys for coming back to my channel and watching this video that is done in special dedication to my mom and to everybody out there who's grieving um, i hope you come back again and again um, subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so uh, turn on the bell notification as usual so you know when i post more videos thank you very much for all the kind words thank you for all the encouragement thank you for the love and the support guys um, i really really appreciate them so if you're dealing with any kind of grief if you're dealing with any kind of loss or uh, you have gone through the healing process you feel like you're better please drop some tips down how you did it how you're coping what has your life been like since then i definitely would love to hear from you and i'm sure that other people can learn from your experiences as well so thank you very much until i see you um in my next video uh, it's marina saying thank you have a good day Bye bye